a couple years ago, a company named Free L Tech claimed to have an energy storage solution using exotic vacuum objects or what they call electron clusters and it was a vacuum tube like device using some kind of either heated or cold electron emitting cathode and uh, surrounded by some kind of ceramic shell that was a very high dielectric constant and could have been something uh, such as barium titanate or another dielectric but I won't speculate on that I'll let Bob Greener do that for you um, I wanted to bring this possibility up though this is a 13 kilovolt Russian uh, new old stock rectifier tube and it's got a kind of strange arrangement of four and it's going to be virtually impossible to get you inside here for the view but let me see if I can anyways so yes it's got four filaments kind of like those you know new LED bulbs and it is surrounded by a treated shroud and it does have an exposed anode terminal but I don't think that's a problem because if this whole thing were immersed in oil and there was a surround say you know covering the entirety of the body of this rectifier and there was a small oil gap sort of as they recommended in their verification on Freeltech's website they talk about a verification using a rectifier tube with a sealed top that does not have an exposed anode inside of an oil chamber surrounded by a shroud and it was something very similar to this only much smaller so this is running about right now 4.4 amps 2.5 volts input very very close to its spec for uh, rated current but I also had another idea that I wanted to show the possibility of and I figured in terms of vacuum and electron emission, light bulbs could theoretically do the job. So there's just a few ideas on how we might be able to implement a test or validation of free LTEX claims. And by the way, this being at such a low voltage, that could effectively run off two um, nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride D cell sized batteries in series easily, which I have done before in a previous power supply that's in New Jersey right now. So um, these tubes could run fully isolated, which means you can float them at uh, many kilovolts in order to get those clusters formed and pumped out of that heated cathode, that thoriated um, flat filament that's inside of there. So those are my thoughts. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think too. And if you have any other ideas on how to replicate their technology, please do let me know. Thanks.